Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Alpha King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And today we're here to talk about NBA 2K14. Now, yes, these are screenshots of the game NBA 2K14. But this is not for next gen consoles. This is for current gen consoles, Xbox 360 and PS3. Now, the first thing that I noticed from these screenshots is, of course, LeBron's tattoos. Now, from recent years, we know that 2K has polished the tattoos and make them look like somebody just stepped right out of the tattoo salon. So, you know, hopefully maybe in 2K15, they could fade them a little bit. You know, I guess they make them um, more legible to read and to see on a person's body. But for me, I, I think the tattoos are a little bit too polished. But what I do like is the hair. LeBron's hair. Now, we know that LeBron has a receding hairline, and you'll see that in the next screenshot, but the back of his head does not have a missing part of his, his uh, hair. You know, it's not like any other NBA 2Ks. Remember from NBA 2K13, it was a lot of guys who was missing the, uh, the crown of their actual hair, and a lot of guys weren't going bald in that spot. It's just the way it looked. Now, in this screenshot, you see LeBron's headband. Now, a lot of people had problems with NBA 2K13 where they were like, oh, where's the double headband? Or why is LeBron headband back further? Well, in NBA 2K14, the headband will be back. So, all the people who were complaining about, oh man, this ain't legit. They don't want to, they don't really want to show LeBron receding hairline. They're not being realistic. They should have updated it. Well, they ended up waiting an extra game. So, for all those fans out there, all those fanboys, haters, whatever, LeBron hairline is going back and so is the headband. But uh, in this screenshot, you guys will notice the finals emblem on his jersey. So, all of this was, you know, taken from, you know, finals gameplay. Uh, as it goes for the accessories, uh, he is at home. He is wearing the white with the white um, sleeve. So, you know, hopefully on away games, you can choose, you know, if you can wear black or, you know, whatever color you want. Because in NBA 2K13, when you create your my player, you didn't have a choice of changing, you know, colors and stuff like that for, you know, like wristbands and all of that. Like you had to go with what was there and nothing more. But uh, in this screenshot, um, more of the headband, you can see that the headband is, you know, slightly back. Uh, Brian Brian need a little shape up. <laughs> we will say that. Um, like I said before, the tattoos look crazy. Um, they're not showing too many endorsements. Like you see that the whole back of the uh, arena is blurred out. They're just, you know, want to key in on LeBron. So, but you know, you can see Gatorade. You can see, I think, Spalding in the background and things like that. But it's it's nothing too new. This is just a look at LeBron James, a look at his newfound self with the headband. And what makes it so crazy, from the next gen that we saw with your video games, James, this doesn't look nothing like the NBA 2K14 PS4 rendered version. So, you know, I just can't wait to see it on next gen. I'm going to just tell you that right now. As it goes for current gen, um, no problem. We'll we'll take what we can get. But it's all about that next gen, y'all. I'm telling you right here, right now. But this is IKC signing out. I'm about to go take my behind over to Game Face Studios and do this live stream. Peace, y'all.